Welcome to our preview of the mysteries, thrillers, and comedies premiering this month on MHZ Choice. From contemporary Danish midwives to 19th century French coal miners, workers of the world are uniting this month on MHZ Choice. With The Shift, we enter a maternity ward that never sleeps, run by no-nonsense Ella, the killing star Sophie Grabol. Denmark's top baby hospital is under siege by a cost-driven bureaucracy that couldn't raise a heartbeat on a sonogram. Acclaimed Danish director Lona Scherfik creates an empathetic facility with never-ending drama. Complications? There are a few. Twisted twins, stillbirths, and premature arrivals. Ella delivers day and night. Her love life is closeted on sight. And while we applaud her independence, Ella tends to overdo it. Also from Scandinavia, Agatha Christie's Gerson is a mystery must for queen of crime lovers. It focuses on one of Christie's most eccentric characters, the prickly Swede Gerson. In this modern adaptation, TV exec Clara Sandberg is intent on casting Gerson in a crime-solving reality show. The Natalie-dressed Gerson is disinterested in Clara and her project. Despite their rocky start, the dynamic shifts once they encounter a corpse on a cruise ship. Soon, more bodies surface for our new favorite odd couple crime busters. On a darker note, the winemaker finds our affluent vintner and family man under deep cover. When his past Camorra crew comes calling, he enters a new era, days of wine and bloody footprints. The suspense could make you spill your Tyrolean red. The Austrian nail biter lives up to its pitch. A history of violence meets Cape Fear. French Gothic, The Island of 30 Coffins is also shiveringly good. After many years, Christine reluctantly returns to her birthplace, the rocky Isle of Sarek. Haunted by her past, the childless wife can't fight the feeling that her stillborn son still lives. At Catherine's return, the superstitious locals panic, their fears amplified by the prophecies of epileptic Remy. The villagers are sharpening their pitchforks. Will the outsider expose the truth or be buried by it? The witty Once Upon a Time in Vigata starts with a bang. The fictional Sicilian town is crawling with randy priests, black widows, and self-dealing aristocrats. Nothing is what it seems in this close-knit community which can swallow visitors like the new tax collector, Hole. The three juicy movie-length 19th century mysteries from Inspector Montalbano novelist Andrea Camilleri also recounts the arrival of a handsome pharmacist that arouses local gossip. In the piazza, the newcomer encounters the mad elder Mackenzie, who foretells foul play. As the chemist acclimates, the body count climbs, beginning with the current Mackenzie's heir, who only has eyes for his beloved sheep. The match isn't exactly the advantageous coupling his father intended when his sole male heir entered the world. Germinal is a grittier literary adaptation from Emil Zola. Although set in 19th century coal country, the show couldn't be timelier. The northern French mine conditions resemble Dante's Inferno. As the workers struggle to feed their many children, their tight-fisted managers live in luxury. Spiral favorite Terry Godard worries with dignity as a hard-as-coal veteran miner. Even in grimy darkness, the generosity and connection among the workers shines through. Back to the present, Breaking Point is a disturbing multi-part German anatomy of a mall shooting. So many modern urban dwellers are on the verge of a breakdown. Who cracks and why? Gun culture is also part of the equation. 
From images mirroring movies, to arrogant private collectors, to combat-ready policemen. In a narrative twist, the thriller shifts to the days preceding the mass shooting, examining which characters could have pulled the trigger. Was ruthless competition the impetus? Or could it have been despair, debt, divorce, frustration, or revenge? The series investigates what it is about consumer society that causes shopping and shooting to collide. On the lighter side, sexy Fosca Innocenti canters under the Tuscan sun. The robust deputy police chief has a superior sense of smell that helps her sniff out crime. Even in this bucolic paradise, banks get robbed and bullets ricochet. In the sequel, 1994, Berlusconi Rising, media tycoon Silvio Berlusconi becomes Italy's prime minister, aided by his trusty fixer Leonardo Note. But dark clouds from the past materialize. Meanwhile, high heels slap the halls of parliament as a coalition of women from opposing parties unite over common interests. Professor T's fourth season begins with a blast. Following last season's shocking revelations, will our beloved damaged Professor T snap out of his funk to solve the murder while unraveling the mystery of his complicated existence? Shorthanded midwives, naughty priests, oppressed minors, and so much more. Variety is the spice of international storytelling this month on MHC Choice.